Hello. Okay, Joker Foley Addo. I'm a little bit late with this video, but I just really wanted to share with you all my thoughts on the teaser trailer to the sequel of Joker, a movie that I absolutely adored. Do I feel like it needs a sequel? No, but I'm definitely intrigued by what it is that Todd Phillips is potentially going to bring to us. Um, I've watched the trailer now quite a few times, so yeah, I'm just really looking forward to sharing with you all my thoughts on this glimpse into Joker Foley Addo. So yeah, enough rambling, let's just jump straight into it. So here we got Arthur Fleck, which I'm assuming this is Arkham Asylum. So I just want to sort of mention, like I love sort of the look, the cin from, you know, from a cinematography perspective, I mean, you know, and the lighting as well. I'm really liking sort of the vibe of this movie, just from the glimpse that we get of it through this trailer. It sort of retains that kind of grounded grittiness of the original movie, but I'm sensing almost kind of like a very sort of 1960s, 70s musical vibe as well coming from sort of just the look of this film through the glimpse that we're getting with this trailer and along with that kind of classical kind of whimsical almost sort of score on top of this trailer is really giving me that kind of 1960s 70s musical vibe about it but at the same time retaining that kind of grounded grittiness look of the original movie Again, just going back to, uh, there's a lot of these moments within this teaser, and I just, so like this moment, for example, where, you know, it's just the way they've used the lighting, I just, and it just, it just creates this atmosphere that I just really, really like. To make us whole. To balance the fractures within ourselves. And again, like another moment, and along with the score that accompanies this trailer, and sort of the use of colours, like you've got those kind of pastel, um, sort of washed out colours, again, take me back, it just it sort of really took me back to sort of the 1960s, 70s musicals, like Sound of Music, maybe, and even Willy Wonka, those kind of, that kind of sort of, um, yeah, that's the vibe I'm getting, and I kind of like it. So we got Lady Gaga here as Harley Quinn. Now, I love this casting. Um, she looks great in the movie. By the looks of things, obviously, they're not sticking 100% to the origins of the character. I don't think by... From just watching this trailer anyway, it sort of looks like they've kind of parted a little bit from sort of the origins of Harley Quinn. She was a former psychologist. Um, who was somewhat tormented by the Joker, I believe, and manipulated by the Joker. And I think they sort of take in a different angle. They've taken a different approach. Um, but yeah. And I, one of my favourite shots in the trailer. I absolutely love this moment. Again, the lighting. The shadow, the, the, the colours. Let's get out of here. And this is just a teaser, okay? But like, even, you know, sort of the glimpses that we get in like this one particular moment here on this rooftop. I'm just sort of really captivated. I'm, I'm sort of the tra this teaser trailer just sort of really sucks me in, and I'm, I'm kind of just mesmerized with what it is that I'm seeing. And these are very small, sort of quick glimpses of what it is that we're getting with this movie, and it just gets me really, really excited. And it. <laughs> You know, just like these, sort of, we get glimpses of, obviously, what's going on within the minds of these two characters. And I just love, sort of, how it is they've kind of brought them to life. It sort of takes me back a little bit to Moulin Rouge. Um, I absolutely adore Moulin Rouge. It's one of my favourite musicals. And so, yeah, I kind of just love that kind of, sort of, just, yeah, just how they've brought these moments to life. Is that a fellow Welshman I hear there singing? 
And then you got multiple versions of himself. Like, it looks fun. Like, again, just going back to that moment there with Harley Quinn dancing and all of that. Um, yeah, it just looks like a lot of fun. Again, I love this shot here. Again, taking me back to Moulin Rouge. But yeah, I feel it. I got a feeling like these moments here with Harley Quinn and the Joker dancing is just their imagination. And I just like, yeah, I just, I'm loving the look of this film. And I'm just loving how they've brought these moments where we sort of, what, but, you know, is us diving into the minds of these characters looks like. And again, sort of really kind of, sort of taking us to, it has that kind of 60s, 70s musical feel about it. Um Great shot. And this is one of my favorite moments, always my favorite moment in the entire trailer. You can't help but smile with him. I, whenever, every single time I have watched this trailer, that last moment there, I can't help. But as he smiles, just smile along with him. Um, yeah, a fantastic teaser trailer there for Joker Foley Adieu. So yeah, um, it does exactly what a teaser should do, just like Alien Romulus, that fan also another fantastic teaser trailer there. It kind of gives us a glimpse into what it is that we're going to get, and it does have that more of a fantastical kind of vibe to it when it comes to obviously the use of imagination. And I just, from the glimpses we get of those moments that might be those musical numbers, I just love the way in which they've been brought to life. Like I said, it has that kind of very Moulin Rouge and 50s, 60s, 70s kind of musical vibe about it when it comes to the colours. It's got me really, really excited. I just love the look. I love the vibe. I, there's some beautiful moments in this trailer, like this moment you with the lighting, with Arthur on the piano. There are just so many moments within this trailer that made me smile. And it's, it was a ve it's a very mesmerising teaser trailer to watch. Um, you know, it's like every time I've watched this trailer, it just sort of really kind of grabs my attention. I'm there just mesmerized by what it is I'm seeing on the screen, not just from the performances, but just from the look of the movie. So, yeah, you know, I absolutely adored that first movie. I feel like it stands on its own perfectly. I don't feel like it needed a sequel. I absolutely loved what it was that Todd Phillips did with the character, giving us this deep dive into sort of this cat and into this character, which at the same time reflecting sort of society, you know, within the real world and what it is that people are going through um, today. And I just think it was, yeah, it was a very unsettling, unnerving. Um, ride into the mind of a character like Arthur Fleck and it was it was beautifully done and so I, I have got faith in Todd Phillips um in sort of what it is that he's going to potentially bring to us with the sequel with the continuation of these character stories and I like the fact that it has even though it's still got that kind of very grounded gritty vibe of the first movie it's taken a bit more of a perhaps a fantastical sort of twist uh, sort of a fantastical kind of whimsical even direction with the sequel and so that's got me really intrigued and I'm just really excited so yeah what did you guys think of the teaser trailer for the sequel to Joker did you love it did you hate it as it spiked your interest as it got you even more excited for the sequel do you even want a sequel to that original movie then please let me know in the comments below and let's get a discussion going and if you've made it this far into the video thank you so much if you want to watch future movie trailer reviews from just some random welsh geek ramble on then please hit the subscribe button it will mean an awful lot to me my next movie review will be for rebel moon part two the scar giver um i will leave a link here somewhere of my review for part one Perhaps I was, made, I mean, I think I made, it might have been a little bit more generous with how I felt towards that first part um, more than others. Um, 
and I am still looking forward to checking out part two today. I am a big fan of uh, Zack Snyder and just sort of his visual style, his sort of directing style. That will be my next movie review. So yeah, enough rambling on from me. Thanks again for watching. I really do appreciate it and I'll be catching you guys soon.